Hey guys, it's Ashton with Oakland Roots and today we are going to walk you through the process of how we harvested seeds from this year's pumpkin crop. It's a pretty basic process and this is actually the first year we've tried it on this large of a scale, but we thought it'd be pretty fun to bring you guys along. Let's get started. This is a majority of our pumpkin crop from this year and we actually intended on selling most of these, but we got too busy and didn't get around to it. So now we are just going to take the seeds and hope for the best next year. As you can tell by the discoloration and the mold on some of these, and some of them are pretty soft, that we didn't get to it in time this year. We're a little late for the process, but we are going to try to harvest most of the seeds anyway and see what happens. <laughs> step in this process is to get a really sharp knife to cut open the pumpkins. This was really important because some of them were soft and pretty easy to cut but as you can tell in this one some were really hard and in order to keep from the knife slipping off and hitting your hand or anything like that it's really important to get a really sharp knife. The next thing we did was take either a metal or a plastic spoon to kind of scoop some of the inside out mom and i had very different methods for this for me i would rather just dig my hands in there and sort the seeds out inside the pumpkin until it was all gone where mom wanted to scoop everything out and then sort it outside once we had this seed scooped off and most of the pumpkin off of the seeds we put a paper towel inside a seed just a seed starting tray and then we labeled the paper towel with a sharpie on what variety we think it is and then we will spread those out in as thin of layer as we can in order to let them dry. There's some that it was really hard to get some of the pumpkin off of there so I will probably go back in a day or two and try to wash some of that off to help it dry. The little pumpkins were really hard to cut and on some of the daisy gourds, we actually ended up just throwing those into the tray to let dry that way. Here are all of the seeds that we harvested in a couple of hours today. Once they are completely dry, I will go back through and put those into seed packets and label them for next year. Now that we've shown you a little bit of our process in harvesting the seeds, I thought I'd talk about some of the seeds we planted and some that did really good for us this year. Mom and I are notoriously terrible at growing pumpkins. We usually have, if we plant the biggest pumpkin seed, we'll end up with little bitty pumpkins if we get any at all. So we were really excited this year with how our harvest went and hopefully next year it can be even better. So the first one we'll talk about is Squash Jack B. Little from Baker's Creek Seeds. This one was a really good producer and we had several different ones. They're one of my favorite because they're about the size of your hand, but they're real small. They're good for interior decorating or throwing in a basket outside too. And on the note of us growing things way smaller than they're supposed to. This is one of the pumpkins we grew, which they are supposed to be about probably three times this size, but it's still really cute. The next one on the opposite end of the scale is the Pumpkin Big Max. 
This one we are very proud of because for the first time ever, we got a full size pumpkin out of our garden, which at this point it's starting to get really soft a bit. Here is what that looks like. And it's really a dark orange and really flat, smooth pumpkin, which was interesting to me. We, the next one we had was a Casper pumpkin, which is supposed to be kind of medium sized, round and white. We did not, um, we had two come up and we have not cut those open yet, but they also kind of turned green because they've been in the greenhouse way too long. So I do not have one of those to show you, but it was about this big and um, just a really round, pretty white pumpkin. The next one is triple treat, which is supposed to be um, good for pumpkin pies, but also good for carving and a nice carving size pumpkin. And again, we did not get one that was the size to carve, but we got these really cute little medium sized pumpkins. And these are probably my favorite size because you can get a bunch of them. You can add a little dimension and different sizes to your decorations. And here is another one that's a little taller and the flatter one. Next, we planted pumpkins in a fall rainbow blend. The blends are really hard to identify once they come up and you're harvesting, but we do think that this pumpkin came out of that blend. And it's a really pretty dark color with hints of kind of a pinkish orange in there. And it's really sturdy still, despite being in the greenhouse and it did really well. I like the shape of it too. The next one was my favorite of this year, which would I would not have expected that when I planted the seed. But this is the Long Island Cheese Squash from Baker's Creek. This one was the best producer we planted this year. We had a ton of these. I bet we had 20 pumpkins where other varieties maybe made two or three each. This is what it looks like. And there was all different, they're all kind of this flatter squat shape, but there's all different sizes and different shades but they're all around this color kind of a rose gold peachy color and I think this would be so pretty mixed in with your traditional orange and white pumpkins and also it has stayed so good here in the greenhouse like while the others are getting really soft this one's still real solid and when we cut into it it was really fresh and meaty still and um, just overall I think it would store very well if you wanted to eat it but it would also be a beautiful decoration to add to your porches. This next one is Turk's Turban, which is a really fun little pumpkin. It did not produce real well, but there are also not very many seeds in the packet, so that could be part of the problem. We had three, and two of them rotted pretty fast, but we do still have this guy. He is really, really deep reddish orange on top, and then he's got the underneath is smaller, and it's got little white stripes all through it. So I just thought this was a really fun, it would add a really unique decoration. We also planted daisy gourds, which are kind of a star-shaped gourd that are in all different colors. I do not have one in front of me to show you because we actually harvested all of those seeds yesterday and they were so hard that we did not end up cutting through them. We just threw them on a tray and hope that when they rot off or disintegrate that we will be able to get some seeds out. So we'll see how that goes. That's kind of a trial run for us. But again, they are very pretty to throw in with the little miniature pumpkins in a basket or inside the house and they last a really long time. Our last one is, that I have the seed packet for is a small fancy gourd. And again, with the mixes, it's kind of hard to tell what came out of where, but we actually have this one. They were supposed to be all different colors and all the ones we grew ended up being solid, but it's kind of a fun shape. It doesn't look like your traditional flat miniature pumpkins. It's kind of a round squat shape. So again, there's that one. And then the ones we did not have the seed packet for, um, one of my favorites was a Jardale, which I think I say, I'm saying that right, but I honestly have no idea. It is a kind of flat blocky green pumpkin and I'll put a picture up so that you can see. Um, and get a better idea of what that looks like. But it was a really fun one and again, really pretty to add a little bit of a different fall color into your decorations. And it was also very meaty when we cut it open. Um, the last one we have is this flat white pumpkin. And I believe this one was called a flat white boar. 
and it was from Baker's Creek and it is just a really fun different shaped pumpkin to add I love having different colors and different shapes like all different sizes shapes they just add a lot of dimension when you're decorating and this one you can actually if you cut the stem off you can actually stack it and it makes a really pretty tower with all the different white pumpkins so those are all that we have to show you and we will have all of these seeds next year hopefully as long as they cure right and we go through that process and have some success but also we actually just ordered a bunch of different varieties for next year too so we're super excited to see those and we'll probably do a video of unboxing those so you can see what to expect for next year um, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and we will see you next time